In this class, I will be teaching you how to solve numericals when it comes to monopoly. I will be trying to cover all the types and varieties possible which can come in your exam when it comes to solving a monopoly question. Let's start. Suppose we have P is equal to 53 minus Q and AC is equal to MC is equal to 5. The first thing which we want to find out is equilibrium quantity. I will be teaching you two ways to solve this equilibrium quantity. First, we can use MR is equal to MC approach because we all must understand when we say MR is equal to MC that implies profit maximizing quantity. In order to get MR, I am first going to solve PR which is P into Q going by the function at hands it shall be written like this 53 Q minus Q square if I go for MR you must all understand that MR is the first derivative of TR so differentiating TR with respect to Q should give us MR so I am straight away writing it as 53 minus 2q. As far as mc is concerned, guys, it is given as 5. So, it is already there. Now, mr is equal to mc shall look something like this. Now, if I solve it, I get the quantity as 24. I am teaching you one another way of solving this quantity this particular approach which we are now going to explore will be really handy when you will be doing numericals of imperfect competition or oligopoly you must have heard Cournot's models, Stekelberg models, Bertrand models in your college classes so solving those models will be really really easy if you follow this second approach which I am going to teach you now as we all know that profit is equal to TR minus TC and we want to maximize our profit first and foremost what is our TR taking from here our TR is 53 Q minus Q square TC will be 5 Q now some guys would say why you have taken TC as 5 Q the answer is since AC is equal to TC by Q, therefore TC is AC into Q. Now AC is 5, 5 into Q is 5Q. Mind it, I have here written Q as capital, here as small, hardly matters, you can use either. Now, in order to do this, don't you think we shall be left with this 48Q minus Q square? Now, I'm going to maximize my profit with respect to quantity 48 minus 2q is equal to 0 and q shall again be equal to 24. So when it comes to solving a monopoly numerical and if you were to find out equilibrium quantity you can either use mr is equal to mc or put it in other words you can maximize your profit function with respect to quantity and get to the quantity. This second approach shall be really handy when you'll be doing imperfect competition numericals. This was first. Second, if I were to solve price here, should not be difficult guys. Since I already have my price function that's as 53 minus Q, I just need to put this quantity value here and I'll be able to get my price which happens to be 29. I hope it is clear to you. Now guys, <clears throat> we'll talk about profits. In this case, profit which we all know is TR minus TC or I can write it as P minus AC into Q. Why? Well guys, TR is P into Q. TC is AC into Q. Q is common. I've taken that out and P minus AC into Q. So it's one and the same thing. Now, P is 29, AC is 5 and Q is 24. So 24 into 24, our answer shall be 576. That will be your profit in this example. 
Now, it will be really handy if you go with a diagram. The diagram shall look something like this. AR, MR and MC. As far as the quantity is concerned, it is 24. This MC is 5, which is constant, and this price is 29. I think that's clear. So, so far, we've done three things. We have solved the quantity, we have solved the price, and we also have solved the profits. Now, suppose if we were to solve consumer surplus, how shall we go? So, consumer surplus, in order to solve that, first of all, let me give you the definition of consumer surplus. It is the difference between what the consumer is willing to pay minus what he actually pays. In other words, it is the difference between the maximum price of the reservation price of the consumer minus the price which he actually pays. So, this must be the highest price or the reservation price or the maximum price which the guy would be willing to pay. How to solve this? Now, as you know, our function was this. Here the quantity shall be zero because here we are taking quantity. So don't you think further solving it shall give us 53. So this should be 53 because if you keep this as zero, you'll be left with 53. As far as the consumer surplus is concerned, this whole area shall be considered as our consumer surplus. How to solve it? Uh, since it's a triangle, I am going to use triangle properties, which is half into base into height. Now, bacha, what is base? Base is 24. What is height? Height is 53 minus 29. So, half into 24 into 24, and I shall be left with 288. And this shall be our consumer surplus. I hope it is clear to you. So far, we have solved four things, quantity, price, profits, and consumer surplus. Now, suppose I want to solve quantity under perfect competition or competitive market. Well, guys, as far as quantity under perfect competition is concerned, it will not be solved as MR is equal to MC. Instead, it shall be solved as P is equal to MC. Why? Since under perfect competition, AR is equal to MR. Now we will solve 53 minus Q is equal to 5. This Q shall be 48. In the diagram, it shall be shown here 48. That's the quantity of perfect competition or competitive market as they say. In order to solve price under perfect competition should not be a problem. Why? Because here P is equal to MC, therefore P shall be equal to 5. That shall be the price as well. Seventh thing, suppose you were to solve consumer surplus under perfect competition. Guys, consumer surplus under perfect competition shall be area A, P and C. This whole big triangle. This is the consumer surplus. Why? Again, I am going to repeat my definition which says it is the difference between the maximum price which is 53 minus the actual price which the guy is willing to pay. Again since it's a triangle I am going to use half into base into height so half into base shall be 48 and height shall be 53 minus 5 and half into 48 into 48 yeah so that shall be uh, whatever value comes that shall be uh, our consumer surplus. Guys, the value is 1152. So far, we have solved seven things. Now, the eighth one shall be the most important one. It is called dead weight loss. Before solving this dead weight loss numerically for you guys, First of all, I will be giving you some insights about dead weight loss. When I am taking here two different scenarios. For example, I have AR, MR and constant MC and AR, MR and a conventional MC. So I will be telling you about the dead weight losses. 
if i go for monopoly quantity this shall be the quantity and this shall be the price same here this shall be the quantity this shall be the price i hope from the preceding numerical you know how to solve these quantities and prices respectively now this shall be the quantity of competitive market i shall be writing it as qc and this again shall be the quantity of perfect competition that's qc so first i'll i'll be focusing here now what about consumer surplus under perfect competition guys it shall be this area 1 2 and 3 so it's like 1 plus 2 plus 3 what about the producer surplus under perfect competition i think in this case it's none for example uh, you can see producer surplus is actually it refers to the price which the guy receives minus his minimum supply price his minimum supply price is mc and price is also mc so there is no producer surplus what about consumer surplus under monopoly when well, under monopoly it should be only one what about the producer surplus under monopoly where well, it should be two now what shall be the loss of consumer surplus i think the loss of consumer surplus here is 2 plus 3 what is the gain of producer surplus it is 2 so debt weight loss is loss minus gain so in this case the debt weight loss happens to be equal to 3 now you must understand uh, what we actually mean by a debt weight loss it should be considered as a loss where one party suffers but no one gains as you would see the consumer surplus or rather the loss in consumer surplus is 2 plus 3 this 2 loss of consumer has become a gain of the producer but what about this loss this area 3 which is still a loss for the consumer has not become gain for the producer so it is that loss which one party suffers but no one gains this is called a dead weight loss what about this one then here it should have been like this price of perfect competition now how to solve this if consumer surplus under perfect competition is to be seen it should be 1 plus 2 plus 3 1 plus 2 plus 3 what about the producer surplus under a uh, perfect competition it should be 4 plus the 5 what should be the consumer surplus under monopoly when well, it is only 1 what about the producer surplus under monopoly when well, it is 2 plus 4 now loss of consumer surplus again 2 plus 3 gain and i should say net gain in producer surplus we well, don't you think earlier the producer surplus was 4 plus 5 now it become 4 plus 2 so you have gained 2 and you have lost 5 so it should be 2 minus 5 what about the dead weight loss again take the loss which is 2 plus 3 take the gain which is 2 minus the 5 sorry for that space crunch so your dead weight loss in this case shall be 3 plus 5 So guys I will now teach you how to calculate debt weight loss numerically uh, from our previous example you must now be able to understand this area refers to debt weight loss how to solve it well i've got two ways to do it a uh, we can for our use write this as 1 2 and 3 so debt weight loss is area 3 first thing first way is half into base into height again which should be base uh, would be 48 minus 24 and height would be 29 minus 5 so now half into 24 into 24 should give us 288 that's a debit loss one more way you want to find out 3 right you can do it by 1 plus 2 plus 3 minus 1 minus 2 Well, one plus two plus three was one one five two. One was two eighty eight, and if I'm not wrong, two was monopoly profit, which was five seventy six. So again, you'll be left with two eighty eight. So in this particular numerical, we have actually solved eight different things. I hope ye aapke liye useful raha hoga. If 
you have any doubts, you can always WhatsApp. Thank you.